Hey, so I thought I would do a quick little update on the Black Radiance Foundation. I wore it today, and I have been, this is my second time wearing it, and I have been applying it with my Real Technique sponge. I tried to um, put dots on my face and didn't use it, but it's not like the sponge just sucked up the foundation. And then I tried putting the foundation on the sponge and then applying it to my face, and it seemed like nothing was coming out on my face. So what I do is I just put it on my face and smooth it out. And then I use my beauty blend well, not blue blender. My real technique sponge to blend it out. And to me it does an okay job. I'm gonna try to apply that foundation with a brush and see if it makes a difference in application. But um I kinda of have mixed feelings on the real technique sponge, but I do our own my own little separate kind of first impressions review on this and it still has water in it from this morning. So and it's now around six and I did my makeup around eight thirty. So the foundation wears pretty good. I did use a little bit of the Black Radiance Complexion Perfection Primer and I have a love hate relationship with this. And around my mouth, I wanted to say around 3 o'clock, you can see like the little cracks in it where it kind of like, I guess, separated from my skin. Like right up in, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but right up in here. And um, it kind of disappeared from around my mouth, like right above my lip. Not too much. You really... You really kind of can't tell, but I can tell. And far as everywhere else, my makeup pretty much stayed in place. I am a little shiny right about now, so I guess I'll go ahead and try to put a little powder on so you guys can see what that looks like. And I'm just using my soft focus powder from Black Radiance. I love this stuff, as you can see. I need to pick up another one, but I bought a lot of powders from the shop means A. So, I'm going to try to use those first. Okay, so, I know my nose is just my highlight. It's not my, it's not like oil. So, put a little powder on. It looks good. The shine went away and I'm looking up close because I can't see from how far I am from the camera. But, okay, so it doesn't really, it doesn't look too powdery. Like right up in here, maybe I need to blend a little bit more. Okay, so you could tell I put powder on right here and right here, but everywhere else I put the powder, you cannot tell. I like the finish of this foundation. It's very light. Like I can't tell that I have foundation on my face. Like I can't feel the foundation, so it's not heavy. Um, it does have buildable coverage, but I'm just having a problem with um the application of it. Like I said, I don't know if it's the sponge, like if this is not a good sponge or if this is not a good foundation to apply with the sponge. Like I said, I'm going to try to apply it with a brush and see how that does. Or either I'm just not using this sponge right, but I will do a um, application. Like I do one side with the sponge and then one side with the brush on camera so you guys can kind of let me know if I'm using this sponge wrong because this is the first makeup sponge I have been able to use on my face. The second sponge that I purchased was the Soho sponge and it's really hard like even wet this sponge does the same thing and all it does is soak up product. So I use this to kind of blend out my um, contour if it's like really really harsh and I need to take some of the product off then I'll use this dry. So I don't know if it's the sponge I'm using or my sponge technique is wrong. But like I said, this is my first sponge that I was able to use on my face that I have purchased. And it kind of looks like the Soho sponge at the end. And then on this side, it's just really flat. So it's good to kind of like do your foundation. And I use this for like under my eyes and to blend out the concealer that I use to contour which was it with, which is the LA Girl Espresso. So, so far I am liking this foundation. So, if you guys are interested in me seeing the um, 
you guys are interested in me doing the video with me doing the using the sponge and then the brush on you know either side of my face then leave that down below but like I said so far out of five stars I give this foundation like a 3.9 just because I'm not really happy with the application but far as the wear it's pretty good to me um it was 80 degrees here in Georgia today South Georgia where I live and it's in December like it's December so it held up really well and I was outside for quite a while did some Christmas shopping after church and I also helped my mother-in-law cook and then we kind of played around and stuff so I think it held up pretty well and this is what it looks like like I said I have some kind of, I have it kind of separating and breaking here and it kind of disappeared like right around the rim of my mouth but other than that it looks pretty good to me now if I do decide to touch up with powder I'm probably going to need some setting spray just to kind of get that powdery look like you could tell I just set powder on top of my forehead so let me see if I just use this little sponge and see if that helped the look of the powder this little mirror because my makeup this is a mess okay so yeah I'm definitely if I touch up with powder I'm definitely going to need a setting spray to kind of blend the powder back in with my face but other than that you guys everything looks really good so that is all I'm going to say about the foundation right now it's kind of like a mini review so anywho you guys thanks for watching I will catch you guys in the next video